Jordi, may I invite you to say a few words about your contribution? Well, um, uh, I think uh, I will talk obviously about music. Uh, because, well, music is, um, I think, the first language that we understand. When children is born, he don't understand the language of his mother, his father, any language. But he understands, he feels the love, the tenderness from the mother through the way the language is singing. He understands through the melody, the way to sing the words, because every language need the music to be understood. Without the music of the words, we will not know what happens, what change. Um, you are a good philosopher. You are a good philosopher. You are a good philosopher. It's only the music. And this means the music, I think, is the first language that we use to educate our children. Because the music is the first um, what goes with the, with the sense and everything. And also remember the music, it's the last thing that we lost when we are the people, they die from, from um, the maladies we, we like um, uh, Alzheimer, like uh, these maladies, the maladies that you forgot everything they still recognize the music and they still they have pleasure to listen to the music until his last moment. And this is why the music is the first language. Then the music is also the language of the memory. M music exists only, the, the live music exists only when a singer play, sings and a musician plays. As soon as finished, even a recording, as soon as finished, it doesn't exist anymore. What makes possible that we remember something? The emotion. We are touched from a melody, from a song, from music, because they, this music has, makes you very happy, or because they, they touch our sensibility, and this we will never forget. It's the same like a, when we meet a person, and this person, it's nice, and it's, we will also remember this person. We, we know in the life, thousands, thousands, hundreds, thousands of persons, but we remember only, we are only remembering the good friends, the people that are close to us, and they bring us emotion and beauty. I think also, I think at this moment, in the words of Voltaire, who says, sans les sens, il n'y a pas de mémoire, sans la mémoire, il n'y a pas d'esprit. Because, in fact, the sense is all the things that we captured, we, we, we come uh, uh, transformed with the sense of the, the, the ear, the, the taste, everything, it makes us living. And then the memory, it's the essential element from any civilization. Without memory, it's no progress, it's no future. And one of the principal, uh, I think, um, disaster from the human being is this lack of memory. Because we repeat every 15 years or 50 years, we repeat the same mistakes from 5,000 years ago. And I think this uh, reminds me how we can help people for education, because we talk about um, all the education with the schools, university, but in reality, we have very short time to educate a person, a human being. Mostly, what is essential, it happens in the 10 first years. The most essential thing that we can give to, a, to a children has to be done in these 10 first years. After, will be learning intellectually, we will learn languages, we will learn scientific things, but 
the essential human elements, would this make a, a human being different from an animal, are in the 10 years. Remember this, uh, ces enfants sauvages. Uh, in the 19th century, they have found sometimes in the, in the forest uh, uh, um, uh, children who was survived because uh, uh, he was becoming the, the food, the, the, the milk from a um, wolf. And these children with 12 years, 13 years, walking like animals, they were taken by a, by, a, by, a, by a specialized and they have prayed to decate these, these children. It was impossible. It was impossible. They have been never possible to learn them the human <coughs> language and learn to be a human person. Because we, we have, at the beginning of our life, we have a lot of possibilities. We are open, we are, we are good, we are everything. And every experience that we have in, the, in our earlier time make us like this. Every bad experience close our reception and makes us different. And I think for this is very important, the, the, the role of the education of the family. I think this is one of the most essential. And today, I think many families don't have time to, to educate the children. They have to work, the mother has to work, the father has to work, they have thousands, and we gave the children very early to the, the small places. And I think that the first education, it's this daily contact, daily um, talking with the children, singing, making music. M and making music, it's very important because I think music is still today one of the most essential language. We can, with music, understand with everybody in any culture, even the, the very different cultures. Music, we cannot lie with music. We can lie with language. I can tell something you wrong and maybe I can convince you from this. But when I play, you will see even the, the most analphabet musical person will see if I don't play with emotion, if I don't play with my heart. And this is why music remains a very, a very important language. Uh, uh, Goethe has said, Wer Musik nicht liebt, verdient nicht ein Mensch zu sein, genannt zu werden. Wer sie nur liebt, ist erst ein halber Mensch. Wer sie aber treibt, ist ein ganzer Mensch. Warum? Uh, because the, the music, it stalks our hearts directly. And with music we can, I think, recover the, the, the peace that we need to live. Uh, I think in the days today, that's, uh, around the world, it's a strong crisis. It is more and more hundreds and thousands of people, millions of people, they don't have enough to eat, enough to have a, a real life with dignity. And a lot of millions of people are suffering from, from war, from terrorism. And this is, shows that we are in a, in a phase, in a time of our civilization, which is not very positive. And we have the great advantages of science, of technology, of everything what is um, at, mm, not essential, and then essential things we don't, we're not, not able to resolve the, the most principal problems, which is understanding dialogue. And I think in my idea, one of the principal things that we have to put in the, in this, in the education, it's understanding. Comprehension. We have to, to make people conscious to understand other people. We have to be free of, of, of um, prejudices. We have to be free of fanatism. We have to be free of uh, arrogance. Uh, sometimes, uh, some years ago, uh, people were saying, oh, we have to be tolerant. Yeah, in front of racism, in front of terrible things, to be tolerant, it's positive. 
but somebody who is tolerant shows already he's in a, in a preferent position. I am tolerant to you because you are here down and I'm here. But a real understanding is the understanding from the inter intercultural dialogue. Intercultural dialogue means that we are accepting any other culture. It has the same possibilities as our culture. And this is not what was happening in the, in the Occident world. We was always thinking, oh, we have the, the best music, the best writer, the best technology, the best, everything is the best. And in confront in other cultures, we was always saying, yeah, this is, we say, well, first world, second world, third world, four, and et cetera, et cetera. And I think uh, one of the principal uh, elements to found the dialogue today with other cultures, with Orient, with, uh, with other religions, it's to be accepting there's no absolute through. Il n'y a pas de vérité absolue. Every body can have his own believing, his own religion. And all the wars that we have been having in, in Europe from the Middle Age until, until, the, until the first um, civil war was religion wars. Religion war was one of the principal uh, elements making the, 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 the most strong violence in Europe during 16th, 17th, 18th century. And I think this is one of the, my conclusions. I will say um, we need the music because music brings us our happiness, but also sensibility and the capacity to, to be, um, to have empathy. And I think also, um, in this difficult world, which is very, very uh, complicated to live, it's in, very difficult to live without peace in a, in a world that's full of violence and, and crisis. But without peace in our heart, it's impossible to, learn, to live. And the only things that bring peace in our heart, it's love or music. Thank you. Thank you.